hello guys so welcome to my first video in talent so talent is a ETL tool which is used for the extract transform and load this tool right now is in boom in big data marketing why it is in boom we will discuss please follow this video and please subscribe on my channel if you have any doubt you can ask any question on the comment block okay so we are going to discuss about the talent etl tool so in this video i will just give you an introduction about the talent tool so what is talent so you can see in here this is an icon of the talent so when you double click on that one you will see this is welcome page of talent I'm using right now a talent open studio for big data this is a open free software you can download on his website it is a free right now it's a uh, some functionality is limited in here in the free audition but when you are going to purchase this one so you will get a more feature like uh, some dynamic uh, schema features and uh, some advanced component like a T Savava shape, T match group, which is used for the duplicate record, fetching out the duplicate records and removing all the duplicates and create a survival record, which is a golden record for that one. So, yeah, that feature you will get only in the enterprises solution, not on the free software, which you will get on free. So, ETL tool is nothing else, is a extract transform load. Extract it means you can extract data from the database or any source and transform it means you can transform this extract record according to that source or according to your convenient like you can remove the duplicates record you can remove the nulls value like uh, some validation you can do by this tool in the transforms side okay now I will discuss about the load whatever the result you will get from the transform this result you can dump into your target location that is called a load one so this three step is called a extract transform load so in the market right now we will you means we will get lots of tools like so talent is a famous one is similar kind of tool which is a uh, data uh, informatica and uh, one more very famous product are there which is uh, uh, given by uh, IBM that one is uh, data stage which is a very famous and uh, like so many tools are there like uh, Pentaho SSIS which is uh, given by a Microsoft and handled by the Microsoft this talent is our own company it means uh, they are the separate company no one is uh, no famous company actually are responding on this talent uh, ETL tool but now this is uh, a talent you will get a open source open source means you will thinking what is open source so nothing else open source it means you can see that source code let keep it aside I think I already discussed lots of things about the talent now let me start so this is a welcome page when you double click on that icon button you will get this welcome page you can now click on that start now in here you can see that lot of description I already created a lot of some project and some jobs in that uh, tool so you will get and you will uh, see the existing job which is already present in this tool so they like a uh, test uh, step six pick and step five uh, pick count so this is uh, actually job names you can uh, create a business model also over there and uh, in here directly uh, you can see if you want to directly go to that uh, create a new job for that one what is job what is uh, uh, components and how it is like that we will discuss okay so let's start we will uh, click on that uh, start button okay so in here 
you can see uh, some workspace and some design space in here okay so let me discuss what are the things are here so on the left side on the left side you can see the repository this 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 part is called a repository you can you can see in here the repository is showing right now so this is called a repository repository is just like a folder okay inside that folder you will get uh, some subfolders or child folder over there like a job design where you can design your specific job this job what is job so job is nothing else is a a complete uh, i will explain according to that java so this job is just like a java class and in this job if you want to add any functionality you have to create or configure this job by a number of features or by number of methods like that so every component means whatever the component provided by the talent is a piece of a function or piece of a code you which is you can add in your java class so it's just like that the second thing is context context is not nothing else is a variable so this context or this variable or global variable you can add in your java class or in your job the second thing is code routine so in here you can uh, write your java classes let's assume if uh, any features or any functionality which you not uh, getting from the talent component or some customized code you need it means uh, let's assume uh, some features which is us uh, or some limitation you are getting from the talent component so you can write your own java code and uh, you can store or you can create a routine and whatever the routine you will create you can see in this routine block so is nothing else is a uh, folder only whatever the java class you will return it will be saved in this folder okay the same like kind of a thing for the peg udf peg udf in nothing else is a java class only you have to overwrite uh, some methods like a ex exec methods so you can uh, achieve uh, to overwrite this method you can achieve a udf user defined function from the peg so we will discuss uh, later uh, means uh, this is a uh, part of the advanced course so leave it that one the third thing is a metadata in that metadata you will get actually you can declare a metadata of that any file or any database it's just like a you can define a structure of the file or a structure of the table or a structure of the database so in here you can get a uh, lots of things like a db connection is db connection is nothing as a whatever the database you want to create uh, any connection so so you will uh, which is the reusable let's assume any connection you want to use uh, again and again in that uh, some component so instead of uh, uh, creating or configure in every component to the say uh, means and uh, the same connection instead of that one you can create a uh, database connection in here and you can reuse this connection in all over the component okay the second thing is the file delimiter and lots of things we will discuss later the second part is the documentation so let's assume uh, for the any job you want to document anything so in here you can uh, store any kind of a documentation okay uh, the last thing is a recycle recycle bin what is the recycle bin nothing is just like a computer recycle bin only whenever you deleting any kind of a folder or any kind of a job it will be directly go to that recycle bin if you delete it from the recycle bin then it's a permanent delete you can't restore it but if any job by mistake you delete it so you can search in this recycle bin and you can restore that job or any connection or any file it may be anything which is uh, belong to the above things okay now i will sh show you one more thing so where you find all the components so this is a palette palette is a folder or is a directory where all the components will be there okay 
all the components will be there so whenever you create a job or open any existing job automatically this palette will be activated if I close this job this palette will be deactivated you not able to see any component in here okay but whenever you generate a job or create a job or open a any existing job the palette will be active and you can able to find any component whatever you need you can search in here the like uh, tlog I search it in here search box when I uh, enter that component name or key keyword name it will be search okay uh, you want to test any file or any uh, component how you will do that one so just search in here like a t log row t log row is generally used for the see the output on the console if you want to see the output of your job what are the output is generated from your job you just use this t log row at the end of your job or at the end of your design and whatever the output will be generated you just connect it to this t log row it will show all the result on that console on the talent component console only means talent component not means talent tool co console only let's say so I am using a one hello program for the hello program I am just using a T generator okay okay one more thing means uh, instead of searching a component on the palette side you can directly call your component on the designer directly means without uh, searching that component on the palette side directly you can call that component in designer how just click on the designer and type it whatever the component whenever you are typing that suggestion coming automatically okay the similar kind of stuff I did already in here I just wrote it a T log generator the component was came okay so in here I just double click on that one I just def this what is k this is a component property this what component is this one t row generator so in here t row generator it's actually generating a row or generating a records so in here I'm just defining a schema I want the uh, two fields in here okay that uh, field like a name I want and like a age I want uh, data type you can select in here like an integer okay in here function the t log uh, t row generator is giving a lots of function this is a ready-made function which is provided by a talent okay so in here I'm just uh, taking uh, some uh, auto random generated string uh, value okay in here I am just selecting a random generated integer or sequence of the string okay I am just select it and uh, just right right click on that component you will get that many option so if you want this component output will go to this t log row component so always you have to select a main iterate is what are what is iterate I will explain later on my another course so in here you just connect uh, of your main to the t log row double click on that uh, t log row you will see the component property on the component tab so in here I'm just selecting a tab a table to see a table format uh, output on that console so now I just run it 
automatic uh, this job will save and it will run okay I select a hundred row over there so you can see the output on this console so this is a talent ETL tool console okay where you can see the output of that job so this is a ETL tool uh, this is a hello program I just show in here um, we can do lots of other things by this uh, ETL tool uh, right now actually uh, so many data migration project and uh, data cleansing project and data standardization project are running on this uh, talent ETL tool and that uh, organization so many famous organization are using this ETL tool because this is a uh, reliable uh, right now and uh, that cost is also very low as compared to other tools like uh, Avenitio is very co costly tool right now and uh, other I'm not comparing them to other, other tools because every tools have their own specific features so talent have their own specific features like uh, at the back end side it's generated the Java codes so uh, whatever the if you are Java expert definitely you can uh, write your customized uh, Java code and uh, whatever the code it will be written by you you can use that code by this ETL tool so in this video uh, only the that much of things is that so now I am uh, closing this video and uh, see you soon whatever the uh, whatever the questions if you have you can ask on that comment box and uh, if you want more details on this ETL tool please let me know you can send me an email.